Here at Totally Online Gaming Group, we had the privilege of having two awesome members of the Tailspire community, Istalri and Mad Wizard, join Klein and I on our collaborative build stream. We got to ask them lots of great questions and got to have some fun building together too. We hope you enjoy this video and hope to see you getting Tailspire and joining this amazing community once it comes out in early access. And, and you know, the funny part okay. is that... Oh, hold, on one, um, hold on one second. So welcome everyone to Totally Online Gaming Group's Twitch channel for uh, a special Tailspire collaborative build stream where uh, you just heard speaking. We have some special guests. We have Istalri. And we have Mad Wizard here joining us. Uh, got uh, a couple quick announcements before I uh, get into you know more of an introduction for them and letting them uh, talk a little bit about themselves. Uh, some important things to get out that this is still the Extra Life charity drive that we are doing. This is actually Extra Life weekend now. Uh, and if you go over to Valdrian's channel, V-A-L-D-R-I-A-N-T-H, if you want to see a whole bunch of really fun, like one-shot D&D uh, uh, &D and other system games, they're running those all this weekend. Uh, it's a drive for charity. You, you know, we're trying to raise money for Extra Life, which is a great charity that, if I can type, hold on. There we go. Uh, just put that in the... Oh, sorry. It's just extra. There we go. Uh, put the link in the chat there for everyone. Uh, but it's a great charity that gives money to children's hospitals to help sick children uh, so that they can hopefully get the, the, the medicine and the treatments they need to get better. So I encourage you, please click on the link to go to the team page and donate. Uh, it means so much. Uh, you're just everything, just a, a dollar even if you can do that just to help those sick children. Uh, and if you don't have any money, but you haven't used your your Twitch Prime uh, sub, and you sub to my channel, I am matching every sub point that I get uh, with a dollar out of my own pocket. So if I get 100 sub points, $100 coming out of my pocket, and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you can't donate directly, you don't have uh, any money to do that, but you do have your Twitch Prime sub, you can use that uh, and still be donating to a good cause uh, so I think that's it for uh, the important announcements I wanted to make sure to get that out to, to everyone uh, but uh, definitely also when we're done with this stream check out in fact we'll probably go raid Valdrian's stream because I know that there's games going on right now uh, so you know check them out afterward uh, that'd be be awesome it's a good cause but now we'll just go ahead uh, in order as you can see on on the stream uh, from top down, uh, you've already heard enough from me, so uh, we'll go to Istalri since your your screen's there on the top. Uh, want you to say hi, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, if, if you want to shout out your social media or your Patreon or anything like that, please feel free. Tell people what you do so that everyone knows uh, all about you. Well, well, I think you've introduced me a little bit already. <laughs> I'm, I'm really <clears throat> happy to be there. Um, I'm uh, I recently discovered that I actually joined the Tailspire community three years ago and then I forgot about it <laughs> and just came back when the, the beta was out. Uh, I, I mainly do building in Tailspire, so I play with, with my group in, in French because I'm a French guy. If you don't get my accent or my words, that's the explanation. <laughs> baguette, baguette. As you, as you may know it. Um, I'm really happy to be there again and, and funny thing, I, we've worked with uh, my wizard to make a contest and this is actually I think the first time we speak or see each other live <laughs> <laughs> very cool very cool and uh, you'll you'll notice too if you go check out uh, Istalri's builds and stuff you can find I know you've got some on Tales Bazaar and Tales Tavern uh, which uh, Mad Wizard will tell us I'm sure a little bit about Tales Tavern uh, but uh, yeah you can go check out some of the builds that he's done he it's a it's amazing and if you want to support him uh, his patreon uh, link is showing up in the stream right under his video feed so you can you'll have to type that in manually but you can follow that link uh, and uh, actually I'll probably copy and paste it over here in just a little bit but uh, mad wizard why don't you same thing tell us a little about about yourself what you do what you do with tailspire that kind of thing okay um... 
yeah, I got in on the Kickstarter for Tail Square because it looked really cool, and uh, luckily it turned out to be just as cool as it looks. <laughs> um, I got in early on the on the beta and actually built the Tales Tavern site. Um, the Tales Bazaar was out there, but I, I have a grander vision for the thing that I would love to see in the community. And honestly, I just love this thing. I mean, I, I play weekly on it. Uh, I don't do building, you know, I do a little tiny building, nothing compared to a scullery, um, which is like compared to Picasso. <laughs> Um, I, I love it. I'm, a, I'm an addict, and I love playing in the, in the game, and I've been a D&D player. I started first playing back in 1978. Um, oh, wow. Oh, he's right up there. You're right up there with me, sir. I am old. I'm an old man. I still have my original <laughs> AD&D books um, downstairs, and my heirloom that I passed off to my oldest son is my old dice bag with my old dice. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. So, but uh, I'm just glad to be here. Um, like I said, I play the weekly in a, in a Discord server uh, called Age Babylon that's a entirely Talespire game. And uh, it's great to be here and, and uh, watch you guys at work. And you know, I'll build a little bit of help out, but uh, it's always one I'm going to watch on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's like his face now because he's actually recorded stuff with his face. So I saw his face before, but you know, technically, this is the first time we've actually spoken. Yeah, 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 which is which is funny because we've we've spoke or chatted actually a, a lot via via Discord. I think quite quite since the beginning of of Talus Tavern, but I never uh, met face to face. And in this COVID world, this is about as close as we're gonna get. So. Yeah, probably. All right, and I'm gonna. Put in the Tales Tavern link. Hopefully, I get this correctly right there. That way, uh, you guys, if you don't know about Tales Tavern, you can go check it out. Uh, I, for those of you who are tuning into the stream, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with ta uh, Talespire and probably familiar with the the quote unquote the players. You know, the the key players here and. Uh, Tales Tavern is one of them. So you know, big props to uh, to Mad Wizard for. For that creation that's awesome it's awesome to be able to share slabs with people uh, and see what other people can do and learn from that and you know so that's uh, our our two guests today that are have created something together that uh, we're gonna talk about the low detail city build contest so that is something that uh, we definitely want to hear uh, hear some about uh, for those of you who haven't heard about it you know hopefully this will uh, be your you know your big oh hey that's that exists awesome and you'll rush to get a slab done because you guys are going until when's the contest over well, when's it stop so, yeah actually tomorrow night midnight p.m of, of your local time Yep. So uh, basically, we're giving everyone a bit of time. Like, uh, if if your local time ends early, you have until the the latest midnight on Earth mm. that day. So I'm not okay. really sure which country is it. So uh, basically, yeah, you have a full day. So yeah. So thirty-six hours. Yeah, some roughly. something like that, roughly. So that means if this is the first you're hearing of the contest and you want to get in it, get in it, and you know, take some time. It's a weekend. So hopefully you don't got any plans, put some hours in, build something, and I'll tell you right now, I've already seen some of the, the entries that, um, you know, on the slabs and stuff that some people have been doing, uh, like uh, one of the, the friends of the channel here, uh, Demon Gund, I've seen what he's put together, so I know I'm not going to win, uh, <laughs> and, and I've seen some, some others that were for the contest that, that were amazing, so... It doesn't matter what you build, as long as you build it, you have fun, you you know, you follow the guidelines, which, uh, you know, we'll we'll get to those in a bit. But I'm going to actually toss it over to Klein because you got that list of questions. If you want to go ahead and ask those, by all means, there you go. Sure. Uh, first question, I guess, is just what sort of gave you the idea to hold the low, low detail city build contest in the first place? Well, I think I'm going to start answering at least, uh, is that I'm, I had started to build a, a low detail uh, city of our modular system 
uh, to quickly build like huge city and everything without having a test fire being hindered in, in terms of performance because as you may know currently optimization is not uh, optimal uh, and uh, it means that when you start building big city with like fully fledged uh, houses the, the game starts to lag out so I wanted to be able to make something in the type of overworld view type, so something you cannot enter buildings, but it's, it's still enough to have a sense of the scale of the city and be able to, to move you, your characters around that city. Uh, and, and then when you need to enter something, you, you have like a dedicated board with that building fully fledged out alone. So performance-wise, it would be interesting. And, and I got caught up in the design of things. I thought it, it was working very well. I thought it was quite interesting too, and it was nice to look at. So uh, basically, I was proud of myself. <laughs> and and uh, and we had some discussion of, of contests in quite a time. And each time, like there were some from from different people, not 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 from me. Uh, and each time it was like, okay, it's hard to set up. How can we make that everything? Everyone has the same card, cards to play with, uh, how do we make it like um, reachable for everyone? Like, okay, can everyone participate? Because if we do, I don't know, a, a, a building context very specific, maybe it's going to be too hard or something. So uh, the idea of giving players a, a, a set of tools to play with and, and tell them um, a build with that set of tools, I thought it was very interesting because everyone was on the same leveling field. And then I just, uh, spoke about it with um, with uh, Matt Oni and Matt Wizard on, on Discord, and I think that the, uh, Matt Wizard just simply um, um, said that he was in or he wanted to participate in the journey of, of organizing and setting up a contest. Well, uh, that that's the way I've, I've, I've lifted myself, and maybe I'm forgetting my stuff. So, uh, Matt Wizard, what's your take on it? Yeah, I mean. We had talked about on the Tailspire Discord about doing some kind of competition. And we had looked at, you know, like we talked about different sizes, or do we have speed builds, or do we have, you know, and obviously some builders are going to have a leg up. And not that we still won't have those, um, but then it's already came up with this low detail city, which is, you know, obviously a completely different concept than any mm -hmm. people that are building out there. And it just made a good fit. He wanted to, you know, thought about doing it. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Because we talked about how we can do it and everything. And so it's like, let's just make it simple. We'll make it easy, you know, have a couple people, you know, judge it. Um, we're going to actually do uh, some form of live stream or something like that. And we actually, you know, announce the winners and we'll show, um, you know, some of the ones that we like the best. And just thought it was a great way to get people involved and in and hopefully continue to do more competitions as well you know come with different themes oh yeah things like this um, and obviously as we get to early access that'll be busier um, than these are now because obviously you've got a limited you know subset of users to do this stuff um, but it, it's exciting and it's it's really fun and i am big into and that's why i came with the tales tavern site i love community stuff that get people involved and oh yeah it'll be good It'd be good for, it'll be good for Tailspire is the is the key thing, which has been obviously good for all of us that love it. Um, and so anything Agreed. To, do to get stuff more stuff out there and get more slabs out there and get more creativity and and more points of view and. Um, and and obviously on my hand, um, I, I thought that it would be uh, easy, but I think uh, looking at people building, it's a bit longer than I thought for people to to use it. And I say that in a very kind of way because uh, for me to, when I use the the, <clears throat> the low uh, detail city slab, so all the parts, the modular parts I've, I've created, and then you can assemble them to make a full city. Uh, it takes me roughly, I don't know, two, max three hours to do like a full slab, because uh, I, I know to use the slab. Like uh, I've, I've created it, so obviously I'm, I'm accustomed to it. Then, I, uh, I was just going like, to say, two to three hours, oh my goodness. Wow, that's quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's because, you know, I know, it's like when you know recipe by heart, you don't look at the recipe anymore. You just take the ingredients yeah. and you mash them together and, and you make a, a crepe or a, a something like that. Mm -hmm. Very French, I said crepe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so uh, that's why we wanted to leave some time so we, we left uh, around a full month to, to do the contest and I think uh, a lot of people participated in and as uh, Matt Wizard said 
uh, we want to, to make other contests and contests that are not um, always building. I think screenshot contests can be very popular and there mm -hmm. is a lot of uh, ideas we can throw around and, and play with. Um, one thing that I would like to do as a contest is something that could include people that are not in the Tetsbury community like that don't have the game uh, right now mm -hmm. and to if possible uh, make a prize for those people so that anyone interested in the the I'd say the Tetsbury environment and in in, in in the role play and everything can submit something and, and mm -hmm. win I think for the overall community it could be very mm -hmm. interesting well, along those lines, uh, I do want to say that uh, Klein actually came up with a, a fairly interesting idea a couple streams ago uh, that uh, was a fun little challenge that he proposed to me that could possibly be a contest idea. It was basically load up your toolbar at the bottom of the screen. You have X amount of time to pick what tiles you're going to use to load up your toolbar with and then you have to use those tiles and those tiles alone with the there was you had some little exceptions in there i believe uh klein i think uh i think props i said did not go in the toolbar because they yep. would give you separate time for props yep and i think doors i said count as props so do okay eggs. yep so something like that, Whereas, something like, like that. Ones you wouldn't necessarily consider maybe a prop i said that's a prop okay so so other than that though you had like a minute or whatever it was or five minutes to pick which tiles you wanted and then you had uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes I can't remember what what you had said to use those tiles to build this thing you know you're given like you know oh build a tavern you know I think that was the one challenge you gave me uh, and I think it was uh, 30 minutes to build and yeah then after you built it I would give you 15 minutes to to uh, prop, prop it up, it up and mm -hmm. then if Yeah. 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 Which I, I thought was a neat little challenge. It came up with a a, a passable <laughs> inn and tavern. was wasn't horrible. Uh, but uh, yes, I think something like that, you know, could be a, a, a as a possibility. And even if it's not a good idea for a contest, it's a fun little exercise. And fun yeah, and yeah, I think it's. Really, a, I think it could do very well with uh, like um, a, a weekly setup and, and you do a contest between uh, one or two person. I think I, what I'm remembering, because I was watching a lot of Minecraft mm. speed build video at the time, and, and what they were doing is that there were two people and one commentator and there were like a, a, a set of uh, constraints and mm -hmm. uh, a time limit and a space limit obviously and they were saying okay build by a that type of house or with, with that keyword and they mm -hmm. had like an hour to build something and then the judge uh, was like uh, going from one to in another looking at the build community and i think it can, it can be a very interesting uh format where we can uh, look into that and and i say we could in, in mean like i or anyone that want to go with the idea just uh, uh go on with it i think it's always interesting to, to create new stuff mm -hmm. absolutely Definitely an interesting like speed build. It was it was fun. It was fun to watch and go. <laughs> Laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, some of the reason that some other of us didn't participate in that particular build was we were uh, cleaning up the map. To say there was um, <laughs> an issue with infinite ladders. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard of that. And, and, and some of us just suck at building fast. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is something uh, I, I try to, to tell more and more people and think I'm going to make probably a new tutorial video on how to, to get faster at building that you know that you get the basis, is that mm -hmm. you should use copy-paste a lot more. Oh, yeah. And when doing the, the low detail city, what I do is that uh, I take a few assets, I bundle them together and I create like a clump or I create mm -hmm. like almost a blueprint. And that blueprint, I will just copy paste it a few times, rotate it, and clump it again together, and then repaste it again, that like, double clump. And then mm. you just have to go on your map and delete just some spaces to break up the repetition. And and if you have um, a high enough density, uh, people won't 
uh, look at it um, and my idea of it i don't know if it, it will make sense it's like you have a uh, low noise and high noise like like frequency you know uh, in on the map if, if you lay down a lot of tiles that repeat themselves and that they look a lot like themselves you, you see the pattern a lot and the idea is to yeah. break the patterns so if you break the pattern with like high notes like something that you really see you can really differentiate by like a glance a glance mm -hmm. sorry yeah uh, uh, you use that a little bit but something that you can distinguish at a glance if you put like three of them you will immediately see that it's the three of the same so it's always the game of having something that can repeat itself and then blend it with details that break up the shapes and, mm -hmm. and with that you can really quickly uh, just copy paste a lot of your stuff it repeats then you just break a little bit that repetition each time and then you, you gain a lot of time because in the end you just place a few stuff and you copy paste the base of uh, big stuff I don't know if, if it was uh, understandable, but uh, that's oh, yeah. uh, the method I, I use nowadays like a lot more as well. I had to recently place a lot of cliffs, and cliffs are, are quite hard to do in terms yeah. of if you have to do a long wall and a high wall of them. Mm -hmm. What I do, I put the baseline, like, like the first layer of bricks of, of, of my cliffs, and then just copy paste it to the top. So the wall is like really repeating uh, himself and everything. So yeah. It's really ugly. But I've made my cliff, and then I just go and change like, I don't know, uh, 10, 20 percent of, of the cliff, cliff faces, and you don't see the repetition anymore. And I've not placed by hand each uh, piece, and uh, which is really uh, uh, the essential part, like gaining time, mm -hmm. and not and going crazy to. And then it becomes a fill-in of details after that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's my That's the, my real pleasure is like uh, like in the sims like you build your house okay okay like the, the rooms and everything the layout but what's really fun to me is like placing each little detail from the props and uh, i don't know why it just fills me with with joy yeah. <laughs> and we can tell <laughs> i remember looking at one of your videos and watching you know when you were explaining that about you were putting in the walls and then you were breaking it up by just putting the spots and I'm like, oh, that's very cool. And then I got you to do it and it's like, yeah, it's amazing how much you can, yeah, make a small mm. change, a couple spots, and now you don't you don't see it at all. I mean, if I look yeah. hard, I can see that it's the same thing. I can see it's the same rock, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, we look at all the things that are built, they're only built with so many assets, but you exactly. don't see it when mm -hmm. you look at it. You don't, yep. you know, it doesn't catch your eye. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, for example... I don't know if, if you look now at the, because this is what I've been working at uh, recently here, is uh, inspired by looking at uh, some of Demon Gun stuff, which he was inspired by looking at Estalary stuff, is the canyon in the front. It It's obviously not finished, but it was just barren rock. And, you know, it, it did have some good variation to it, but we wanted it to look even more natural. And so if there's one section here where you can definitely start to see there is a lot of green and other colors in there. And I've even hidden some uh, flames underneath to give a kind of a light effect. Uh, so that like when we eventually pull up a little bit of water in here and if you turn it to dark, you'll actually get some reflection of light in there, and almost a glowing so it's just those little details and taking the time to put those in adds so much and i didn't and, and, ever and do that <laughs> looking at what you're doing what we could actually do is that you just take this whole piece and mm -hmm. then uh, okay you don't see the selection so just go a little yep. south you yep say. so you take this whole piece okay uh you make it something that ties a little bit better so yep cutting the, the edge of it I'm just so you can so you can copy it and drop them next to each other. Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna do a long like yeah, there, and then you just like rotate it. So rotation does not work that well, but there the two pieces like they look uh, a lot like each other. But if well, like like here, like if if you're wanting to rock, well if you're wanting to rotate wanting to rotate so like this. Here, what you can see is that we have like high noise so the tree is high noise tree mm -hmm. is high noise and the rocks they already blend together like there is too much yeah. detail so it's slow it's it's slow noise 
So there's too much detail. You don't really care about the repetition, but the tree is something that you really spot out. So, just so you change it. And you put it just somewhere else. Uh, I can see the red there. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps this floor. So you, you look at just what can I change a little bit to, to, to change the repetition. Mm -hmm. and by just putting something like very obvious sometimes like that and already you seem to have a piece that is yep. very different and, and, and like, you like two seconds and like this over here for example looked uh with that stone there and uh i wanted one higher there we go ah, not quite but that green coming from there even moving that to a little bit different spot change these out so that they're not matching yeah exactly and 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 that way you have something that is different already and, and it's working really nicely very cool so that's my way of, of operating basically. awesome awesome and oh i just noticed this uh i hope i'm pronouncing this right velkathus velkathus uh, subscribed thank you for your your subscription and that's you know gonna add to the sub points so that's gonna add to the uh, the money that I'm gonna be giving to extra life so thank you on behalf of the extra life campaign for that uh, subscription that's gonna be awesome all right so what questions you got next there Klein The of yours. Oh yes, the coral breaker. So we are moving down to the coral breaker. I am there. Uh, you notice how I'm putting these sort of ropes in, um, connecting it to the dock. Ah uh, yes. Uh, would you mind if I added that to your ship also? Uh, let me take a close look at these. I doubt I would have a problem with it, but ah, it ship, so. yes, I see. I see what you're doing. Yes, using the rope ladders is kind of like a, uh, a mooring line. Yeah, just sort of. Oh, okay. Place, just I like. A little bit more detail like we're talking about. Yep, exactly. I, I think that's awesome. Go for it. Uh, yeah, you can tell where I'm working uh, today. Yeah, harbor time. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, so the next question is more specifically just for the Tales Tavern website. Uh, I checked this morning, you have close to 500 slap boards. Uh, did you ever think you'd get that many with the Tailspire just in beta? No, I, I didn't know. I mean, it's it's interesting because obviously when uh, it went in beta, it first came out, like people were making slabs like crazy. And then after a few weeks, which we didn't launch until like a couple weeks after the beta, it sort of slowed down. And there's still stuff obviously being posted daily or whatever. Um, but it was one of those things you never know with with having a limited set of people having you know the game but it comes down to there's a lot of people that i mean there's a lot of people that, that do do ones off and two off but there are a fair number of people that obviously like astalry and you guys and and demon gun that love doing this and so it's very mm -hmm. cool to see and honestly it just excites me because when ea comes out you know we're going to have a whole lot out there available and then there's going to be a ton more and so those people that are worried about, oh, I don't want to have to build everything because there's, you know, it's so much work to build, and it is. But having this great library of slabs is just awesome because you can just toss things in and go, you know, I've got it. I don't need to build because someone else already did the work, you know. Mm -hmm. To clarify, he, when he says EA, he means early access, not the other EA. That's, yes, uh... <laughs> yes. Access it's it's yep. it's it's not in the game. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, that that's I, awesome. awesome. But on that same sort of guidelines, then uh, you know, it, it is just sort of slabs and what people have built. But do you have any sort of other plans for the website, or is it just primarily going to be that? Like, do you have any sort of ways to sort? Uh, I went one with that's more. I don't know how I'm trying to describe my question, but like, say, you know, for instance, I know some people are updating the straw campaign and putting maps in there. Mm. If I were to, you know, so say straw, would all those maps come out or would that just be up to the person who uploads the map to sort of put in that keyword for people to search for? 
it's mostly up for them to, to put it, yeah, it is, it, it does. And, I, and it's mostly up to them to put it in. Um, one of the things I am going to eventually do is I'm, I'm revamping some of the tagging system because I, I do actually go through and when people tag things in uh, Tails Tavern, I actually go through at least once a week, look for any new tags and I will actually set up aliasing for them. So hmm. if someone puts in a tavern or an inn, or they put in a shop, or a market, or a, you know, I actually put have an alias system that I built into it, so it makes them all think of them the same. Um, that way, you don't have to worry about, well, did someone tag it a ship, or a boat, or a schooner, or, a, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. they all come up the same, because I wanted to make that accessible. And I still ah. need to go back and go through and mark those that people didn't tag, because a lot of people don't they just don't feel like it and so they just put it up which is great but then you can't search for it really well you know uh, i have to to admit that sometimes tagging is a bit puzzlesome to me <laughs> it's just that i've done the build i've done the, the photoshop for the preview of the build i've sometimes done the video uploaded the video edited the video and then i have to tag and i just don't like that <laughs> someone who, who, who never reads back like when I was in school and I was writing essays and stuff like that, I hate, I hate to read myself, like to proofread myself. It's just a pain mm. to me because I see my mistakes and just uh, I don't like it. And also because it, I just don't like going back on work I've already done. I'm, I'm really lazy of a person, so now I try to optimize my time and gain some time. So yeah, tagging, uh, it, it's something that I, uh, if it's not done uh, properly, uh, I'm just gonna skip over it. And and this is kudos to you, Matt, because I think I've I've tagged probably maybe like for uh, 95% of them. <laughs> Means the system is quite good currently. Mm -hmm. I want to do with it, and I've got a lot I want to do beyond slabs. I mean, obviously we've got uh, the one thing that the use now is we got a new collection system that not only allows you put together collections of slabs but other assets as well. So you could upload other documents. You could, so you could create a whole adventure and you could say, okay, this adventure is the name of the collection. And then you mm. could say, okay, here's all the slabs that make it up. Here's the assets that are part of that. Here's some extra handouts to use That's... and put it all in one big collection to make it all usable. That is really cool. Super cool, Be especially because uh, one of the things that I had to do when I dropped the the city of crossroads which ended up being 13 different slabs um when i dropped that on there is i had to make a 13 the 13th one is actually just a like a screenshot of the entire thing put together and instructions <laughs> yeah. and i it would have been really nice to be able to drop in just instructions uh separately as a a file or something like that and and thing you know these are tips tricks instructions on how to reassemble it and make it as easy as possible to reassemble that kind of stuff yeah and we've done we've done the same like um the mod city which i think mm -hmm. is fairly dormant now there was a mod city that where all these collaborators all these builders are working together building different things that are modular to work together and so we made it so you can take a collection not only could you know, someone take the Mod City collection and the, the person who made it add all those slabs in, they can put the other collections in that collection. So, I don't know, think of it sort of like folders, I guess, if you want to do mm -hmm. it that way. So that way, each individual builder could make their own collection of their Mod City slabs, and then the master builder goes and uh, brother um, put together the master one and could put all those sub-collections inside there. So as individual builders add things they automatically sort of gather in together um, so there's a lot of different variations and it comes down to i really want to make something that has just got more and more resources i've got it flexible enough so as we eventually get can do things like you know build minis and if they're somehow shareable mm -hmm. like that be able to put that all in there um, but i have ideas but i anyone that ever has any idea on something that will make this more usable let me know because mm -hmm. I want to know and I want to hear, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I do know that um, when early access comes out, you know, the, the devs have said that that's also when Tailweaver is going to be released. So yep. designs for minis being able to be shareable and things like that on Tails Tavern, that would be awesome. Yeah, and that's just it. Anything that's, that's shareable, 
I've got it set up so literally I could, if, if they today, I mean, it's not happening, came up with it today, I could probably in a couple of hours have it up and so we could share um, and be ready to go. And so that's sort of the whole point, is be able to put as much of this stuff together and, and usable and findable. And that's one of the things I'm going to be working on over the next couple of months here. Um, has to do with tagging and search and coming with something that will work well for searching through um, collections and the slabs and the assets uh, so that it becomes as usable as possible. But obviously it's a bigger feat and as it grows it's going to be crazy so hopefully it's maintainable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Now I do have a question and uh, this is one that was actually asked pre- uh, stream to a stallery and uh, he said well I actually have an answer for that so maybe you want to do that on the stream my question is what devil did you contract with to get so damn good at this <laughs> so yeah, yeah I, I thought it was uh, a question that we needed we needed to wait a little bit to for people to come in to, to answer it because it's it's a, a question that I get asked a, a lot uh, if I can stay humble saying that <laughs> uh, uh, because I obviously uh, I, I, I have a quality of build uh, that I, I myself appreciate and I think people do too uh, and what I try to do is uh, always make build that I would like to, to play to play and, and spend some time a lot of time on minute details to make them look good and I'm um, how do I build so well and the, the real answer is that i don't really know <laughs> <laughs> I, um, my background is that i've i've, I've been business uh, i've done business studies actually so really not uh, artistic or anything i i don't draw that well i i don't paint i don't do anything artistic I'll, i've just been playing video games i uh, too much <laughs> reasonably i've just <laughs> been playing video games too much since i'm 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 what like 14 or 15 i think the, the, my first game i, I almost um, had to took another year in during my studies because of that is skyrim and i spent the way <laughs> i think for everyone it's the same yeah for me it was uh, like the first game i had my own personal flat my personal computer so obviously they wanted <laughs> to watch over me and my time spent so we literally go on yep. uh, days without i uh, probably uh, yeah. playing or doing anything remotely uh, intelligent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, yeah. It's not yeah. true. They have a page of college in that game. That's a good <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, I have, I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a tattoo of, of the mage skill. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. showing you uh, a, bit, a bit too Yeah, yeah okay. You can share it. So, uh, so, oh, so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really into... Uh, um, Skyrim, and, and this is the main game of playing, and afterwards I was mm -hmm. down into the pitfall of video game, and I just <laughs> wanted to work in industry and, and keep going at it, but it does not explain how do I build well, so uh, I've played a lot of Minecraft, and I think that mostly is that I try to look at stuff around me, and I'm and, and very interested in things I don't know, and I think like looking at photography, cinematography, I really love like a good movie, there's a good photography too, it's really uh, appreciable. So looking at colors, uh, arrangement of patterns, and, and when you find uh, like a YouTube creator or someone that does something that appeals to my aesthetic, I try mm -hmm. to, to understand it. And I think that's the process of everything is that Mm -hmm. does this work or can i like cut it in small bits that i understand and then reassemble it into something else it's like um, shapes and everything so i don't really i've not really like followed courses or stuff it's just like uh, looking at it and i have i think the the luck of having a very good uh, spatial visualization it's like when i'm building something uh, i really feel the space i can really visualize it in my head so i always know where i'm going i don't know the final pictures i know like the the idea i have the maybe i have some some references and and you know and something that i tell a lot to people when they're starting to build something is that get references like i have a folder with now hundreds of images of, of castles of roofs of streets of medieval stuff of stuff mm. i've seen on pinterest and twitter just, just artists drawing stuff like that and i may not uh, replicate everything 
like 100%, like one to one, but it mm -hmm. gives you ideas about architecture of, of new shapes and stuff like that. And I think you have, it's like everything in life, you have to feed yourself of it. And it may not uh, be striking the results, but uh, I see now that by immersive myself in like game design and trying to learn about space and stuff like that, I've like imported at least a little bit of that into my own buildings. So I don't really know precisely why I'm doing well and, and hopefully I can continue to do so. And so far it's been working, <laughs> I guess. Here, so, here yeah. folks, do your homework. Yes. So long and short of that, do your homework. Yep. And, and yeah, basically I'm, I'm just passionate about about things and, and the more you are passionate about things, just keep going at it. And, and sometimes it's hard, you don't have the time and everything and it's okay. It's like I, I cannot all the time uh, be dedicated to Telspire or play video games that much or I have to do adult stuff too uh, or just uh, sometimes uh, time is short or you have other vacation and, and you should never feel rushed uh, by your own like I want to get better and sometimes it can be a bit oppressing mm -hmm. just take some time with it and if you like it it will bleed through uh, in, in a good way not bleed through like you're gonna die but it's gonna bleed through <laughs> 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 I just think that someone who's passionate about something will be interesting about that point. Like if you're passionate about vacuum cleaners, it's gonna, probably going to be an interesting uh, conversation. I, I don't know anything about vacuum cleaner, and if it interests you, it's probably interesting at some level. I mm. guess it's, it's still vacuum cleaners, you know, but that may be interesting. I don't know. It dies in mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. They, they look very good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very biased against vacuum cleaners because they just suck. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> uh, roll 1d100, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we just do it now and get it over with? Uh, nope, 31. I'm safe. <laughs> oh, no, there, there's a rule. Terrible accident. Oh, oh that's, that's a bad way to go. That's a real bad way to go. <laughs> All Industrial right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that yep. would be uh, pretty awful. All right. Uh, before uh, we continue on, uh, yep, on I, will g I will get you there. Actually, Klein, if you want to grab a uh, little clay pot, just jumped in. Can you switch him to GM permission? He doesn't currently have it. Uh, sure. All right. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, fuzzing out the stuff and all that. But I just put a the Discord link in the chat, and the reason I did that is to let anyone know that if you want to jump in the build with us and actually build with us while we're building right now, uh, currently, you know, because it's a, a special, you know, stream edition on Saturday, uh, where our comms are in a, uh, a private call, so... You won't be able to talk with us live, but you can come in, you can build with us if you've got Tailspire. Uh, the way to do that is follow that Discord link. That's going to take you right to the rules section of my Discord server. And then in there, at the very top, there's a you know some instructions that say basically click on this little red D20 to react and that'll give you your roll of Toglodyte. And then you find the channel that says Collab Build Stream. In there, the last thing in there, unless someone has posted something new uh, in that channel recently, but the last thing in there will be the join code for this build. And all you have to do, you know, if you've got Tailspire, you probably already know how to do it. If you haven't, you know, really played with it, but you got it, it's real simple. Instead of creating your own campaign, you just go to join and you copy and paste that code right in there and that'll put you right in here with us and then we'll give you GM permission and you can build along with us uh, main rule with the build pardon my language but don't be a dick <laughs> uh, basically if someone's building something you know you can feel feel free if you can communicate with them either through chat or you guys can use the general voice channel uh, right now to communicate as well if you go to the discord but uh you know if you can communicate with them and you say hey i got a suggestion for you or um do you want some help or anything like that yeah if they say yes by all means uh <clears throat> but uh other than that you know don't just jump in and, and start breaking stuff that people are doing 
uh, you know, just build your own thing. We do have over on the east side of the map, which I'm showing on the stream here, we do have some suggestions on things that this mountain fort might need still. Uh, so anything that's one lined out, we've already got. But again, all of these are just suggestions and they're kind of broken down by level or area. But if you, you know, want to use one of those suggestions, by all means do so. If you have a better idea for something like, you know, you guys don't have this. I've looked through the whole map. I don't see this. And this makes sense for a fort. Put it in there. Okay. Find an area and start building and have some fun. And we don't honestly care if you are, you know, consider yourself the worst builder in Tailspire history or, you know, the top tier builder in the world. We want you in here. In here yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> we have well, we well, we have both of them in here because I'm here. Uh, so we we have the top tier and we have the bottom. So <laughs> so, but uh, no, seriously though, we don't care if you're you're really really good or you're not. The point is to come in and share creativity and be part of a community and learn from each other. Uh, you know, I, you can ask Klein. My first builds, eh. <laughs> uh, my, you know, over time though, more time you put in it, the more you, you work together with the community and you learn uh, the new, you know, the little different ways of looking at things, the new perspectives, a lot of the stuff that uh been talking about here. Really awesome ideas and things that I'm going to definitely be taking on board and trying to improve how I build by using those things, um, as well as things I've learned from other uh, people. That's what it's all about, guys. So hop on in. Uh, join us in the build. I think we are almost tied for the most number of people we've had in. We're one away from the most number of people we've actually had in the build uh, at once. And that, that was when we had the devs on. We had seven uh, in the build at once. So we're almost tied. So if one more person wants to jump in, please do. And two more, we could break the record. So... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, all right. You got some more questions there, Klein? Uh, sure. I got a few more. All right. Uh, let me just look at my questions, see which ones okay. you, you may have already answered. All right. Well, well, while you're looking at that, I actually uh, have a quick question. So, uh, Mad Wizard and Istallery, for both of you, what are you guys building right now so I can go and take a look and see what you guys are doing? Look, you mean steel? See, I'm poking around right now. I'm digging into. I'm not even actually building right now. I'm oh, digging okay. into all the buildings that are there and making making notes for myself. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> that works too. I do see some building. This is a good chance right now. Yeah, there you go. So I'm, I'm actually being uh, lazy again. I'm, when it's that, I'm, I'm currently working myself on a very big build uh, for my own campaign. For, for Actually, I'm not the game master there, but I'm building for my game master. And ah. I've, I've worked out a style of building. So I'm, I'm, I'm pre, uh, free building with that style. Um, and, and if I can uh, bother you for five minutes again, like each time I speak. Uh, oh, no <laughs> problem. That, uh, it, no, it's just uh, because I, I can start to speak for a long time. Uh, I, <laughs> sometimes I, don't, I don't stop blabbering. Oh, so I'm the same way. Start, <laughs> uh, if if uh, you're good you're company, building, sir. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're building something, um, it's always good to have a style uh, you want to go with. And this is some the, the thing I spend the most time tinkering about when I'm I'm starting a, a new build. So uh, to go through the motion with you, uh, this time was like a, a huge manor. Uh, the, and, that's and that's this. And that's this right here. This is the style, yeah. Okay. And it was manner. It needed to be fortified, so it needed to look strong. Uh, it was something ancient, but still um, uh, well looking, like uh, ancient, but uh, still maintained. So I wanted something not too much broken down, and it needed to be uh, a bit aggressive, like something uh, you would uh, be frightened by. So, so kind of, kind of, the... kind of gothic, and um, uh, a little bit of that, the gothic look to it, with as well as the. Uh, a hint of medieval castle fortress strength built into it. Is that kind of what 
what you're yeah, describing? That, that was the idea. I was, I was also about um, making something like a chalet or something like okay. that. Okay. Uh, because it was uh, up in the mountains, and I, I did not want it to sound too much like a castle. Like it was a big okay. mansion. Okay. So uh, um, I tried to blend within different type of materials to make it look like a, a nice. A prestigious uh, building so you can see there is like the, the castle the white stone of the castle mm -hmm. there's like wood uh, like um, loggings that support the walls of the castle so you mm -hmm. get kind of a chalet looking thing and okay. you got reinforcement in stone so it looks like it's, it's like like a either uh, ancient or like reinforced and obviously the roofs look very aggressive and have and yes. like the, the, the stone pieces that approach right yeah. from the roof uh, yeah to make it look very uh, solid uh, mm -hmm. in a way and and there is like the main building is in, is in full stone and you can see like the little building there is the almost the um, is it called tavern set that is yep. a bit more frail because it's like um it's like an uh, like an yeah edition. yeah like a newer like a newer edition like it was added on uh, after, like this portion was the original structure and this might have been added on uh, a little later to expand it? Yeah, probably. The idea is that uh, there is no actually wrong answers. You always need to try to tell a story uh, mm. with what you're doing. So if when people look at it and say, oh, it looks newer, so um, like you start to, to tell a story in your mind, it's always the, a good path to go through. And, and by giving character to buildings, you will really tell a story. So there's, to mean by buildings, multiple ways to tell a story. And there's like through the, the main aspect of the building, uh, what the, the type of materials and stuff says. And then inside the building, you tell a story by where are the rooms, uh, what does it say? Because like there is the type of furniture or another type of furniture, like uh, the, 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 the fledging out, everything tells us all the, the story of it. Like is it mm. rich? Or are you using like uh, plenty of materials or only one type? And this is really the, the thing that takes the most time for me because it will drive the whole building process. So at first I, I do like little houses or just like put two walls together and I merge them together and I try to, to look at different options and I pick the one I like the most. And the goal there is that to, to, to do the heavy lifting of thinking what we are put together first and then I just have to build following my own guidelines. I see. I see. I'm just kind of examining this build now in, in more detail, you know, cutting away and taking a look at it. I just, yeah, I mean, you, I, I completely understand you're trying to tell this story with this build. And I think that is definitely something that I know myself, uh, need to think more about when I'm when I'm building something not just you know hey where does a wall go where does you know where should I put this door but like what story am I telling with it that that really I think is something that uh, kind of strikes home for me that you say that because that I mean what is you know playing like D&D &D or other TTRPGs uh, but telling stories and the environment that they're in should tell a story as well so I really like that you said that and, and the, the goal is that <clears throat> you try to make stuff look lived in and mm -hmm. interesting. And, and um, I think this is why people like the building I, I make, is that they look organic, uh, they look plausible. And mm -hmm. when you look at the facade, uh, if mm -hmm. you look at the facade I've made, like to the, the mm -hmm. south or to yeah. the, the upper part uh, mm -hmm. there, right there yep. it's really lovely. Like you get the two windows, you get the wall picturing a little bit. Mm -hmm. and I think that uh, um, giving a, a lot of little details like that to the facade really helps sales that it's a real building because uh, it, it looks very interesting and there is a lot of little details. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the, the lower part that I've not mm -hmm. touched right now, it's really boring. And this is something that I try to, to avoid. But again, it, it takes time and, and I fully understand that when you want to build something, sometimes you just don't have the time to indulge in making yeah. something is. Yep, and that's that's why like a, a lot of what I have used in my games is uh, for well for one uh, none of my players have a super beefy computer and internet connection. Uh, you know they they've got you know I think 
you know, a couple of them are just using laptops, not the best laptops either, not like gaming laptops, but just like laptops. Uh, so, and I, I like big maps. So that that's one of the problems. So a lot of the stuff that I've used in games, I have tried to, for the most part, use... Whoa, what is that? What's going on there? Had weird background noise there for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, one of the things I tend to do is I've already used, you know, this this fort ex exists now in the game separate from the uh, the entire structure, basically just the keep itself. Uh, and I did use the the city of crossroads in the game, and I have also used uh, other people's slabs uh, that I. I'll just I'll grab slabs from Tales Tavern or Tales Bazaar, you know, whichever ones I f I find that seem like they're gonna be appropriate for what I'm going for for that gaming session, and then spend the time to kind of drop those in, and then I might make slight modifications here and there uh, to make it, you know, fit for the scene because it saves a lot of time than trying to build exactly what I need from scratch. So yeah, and, and yeah, it's. Back to, to what Mad Wizard was saying, I think mm. is that uh, uh, we have the luck of having people that are interested in building and some people that are interested in, in doing game mastering and, and mm -hmm. stuff. And so having a, a, a lot of building already pre-made or just full adventure, just like a few house that you're gonna drop in in addition to what you've built, mm -hmm. it's really uh, the strength of, of Telspire. And yep. then uh, it, it will really be really, really interesting uh, in the future to see what the, the mm. community come, comes up with. I think you don't have to build anything really. Like, uh, oh, if yeah. you main all the, the really known D&D or Pathfinder and mm. everything, extension will be, definitely will be built. Mm -hmm. So I think people are just going to have a blast with it. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I, I actually think uh, one of the things, now that I know Mad Wizard, that uh, you're, you know, you're working on being able to basically put post other information and documentation on tales tavern to go like to even make like whole modules and stuff i think i will take uh the time at at some point here in the future be uh to actually take that city of crossroads uh the first collab build and turn that into a like almost a module in itself but like a a a very pre-written stuff set up for adventures that dms can use as a base to work with uh, because you know klein danell we already know there are tons of little secrets and stuff we already we kind of already had a story going <laughs> with how weird and crazy and stuff is going on in the city so i think i might turn that into kind of a module so to speak that uh, then we could, you know, post that on Tales Tavern, and then there you go. You can download the slabs. You got the map. You download the module stuff. So you've got to, you know, saves you some time and energy working on it because it's already done. So it's something other people might enjoy. So I'm glad you got, you know, that you're doing that. I'm going to pump uh, the Stallries thing here. He's got a collection that he did. Uh, it's one slab, but then a couple of uh, two PDFs for. I'll put the link there in the Yeah, it's uh, um, yeah. it's a full it, adventure, here. one shot adventure that you can uh, play with your party uh, normally at any level. Okay. Uh, this is actually something that my game master wrote. I've helped him a little bit uh, with like, a few many details for the, the writing and everything, but the, mm -hmm. he published a whole PDF that looks very professional. It's mind blowing to me. Okay. And I've, I've done obviously the, the map. And so uh, if you want to have a quick one-shot adventure, like three to four hours, you can awesome. go on Tales Tavern and the page is set up so that yeah, you get the, the map, you get the PDF file, you get any dependence nice. you may need for your entry. So uh, Very this nice. is like a collection that has multiple type of, of media and I've also made a trailer, so you also got a YouTube trailer. So, okay. Um, there's that and, we're and that that youtube trailer that YouTube, youtube trailer is is the link is in there as well for that right yeah exactly okay it's like a full page to to present something and as uh matt wizard was saying uh this is really i think one of the end goal of of uh of Tales Tales. is that being mm -hmm. able to showcase a full 
a vertical content from like a slab to a full adventure with like a nice entity, screenshot images maps and stuff like that so everything awesome for that one is available and we're working on a second one nice nice well uh one thing uh mad wizard if you will actually uh post that link in the 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 discord in the call uh because i i haven't ever dealt with it, but Nightbot doesn't like other people posting links in in my chat. Uh, it just shows up as three asterisks uh, when someone else does it. So if you post it in the Discord, I can I can copy and paste it in, and it'll show up. Uh, I'll put but, it in the collab build stream. Does that work? Uh, perfect. That'll work just fine because I can grab it right from there. There you go. All right. There we go. And so. Yeah, you guys definitely check that out. Uh, I know I'm going to check that out because that's that's kind of what I think I want to do with the uh, City of Crossroads is something along those lines. And hopefully more people will get that that idea. And, uh, you know, that'll be awesome to be able to have that as a resource for for DMs who got Tailspire and for DMs who want to get Tailspire, you know. There you go. This is more incentive to get that because now, other than just having a book, and you you know, and that's it. Now this would be everything, and you just basically drop it in, and you've got all the stuff you need. So that that's cool. I like these, you know, when you've got the whole modules that people have created, you know, the whole Dungeon of the Bad Mage, and you've got all mm -hmm. the materials and everything else you can, you know, so you can go one place, just grab it all. Rather than, oh, I gotta go grab a level, I gotta grab this room, I gotta go grab that room, mm -hmm. you can have it all together. So, Which, that's actually something I am hoping in the future, excuse me, I'm hoping in the future for Tailspire that uh, miniatures will be able to be copy and pasted over with maps uh, because you could even then populate the entire map with the appropriate monsters and things like that and if they could copy over additionally yeah you know, knock on wood fingers crossed and all that that uh they eventually get rule systems in there and stuff where we could actually put like character or creature stats <laughs> and yeah. and somehow tie that in uh honestly i'd even i think one of the things that i think would work best in my opinion but i'm not a programmer so i don't know how to do any of that is if they could convince D and D Beyond to work with them and somehow make a like a cross link where you could just use D and D Beyond to build your character and and everything and use the roller in D and D Beyond, and it would use the information off that and it would port in automatically to Tailspire, roll the dice and you know show, roll them to give you that visual, but then also put you know put up your result in Tailspire from D and D Beyond. Well, Alex um, on the Tailspire Discord now has released um, extensions for Chrome and Firefox that will actually work with D&D Beyond. Really? So that, you, so that you can, in your browser, literally, here, I'll, let's see if I can... Yeah, post that link to the Discord if you've got a link for it, because that is something I desperately want to check out. Yes, let, me, let me dig it up, but I will, I will, in fact, let me see if I can just do, roll one here just from my desktop. Mm-hmm. And I can literally grab the dice and throw them here. And you will oh, see wow. that it did the dice, plus you can do additions and subtractions. Oh, wow. You see, there we go. So it's, was, I mean. That was through your D&D Beyond, or was that the, just the URL that was implemented in Tailspire recently? That one I did actually through a URL. I just, I just typed in the URL I had when I had used before. Uh, but it, but the but the extension actually makes the stuff in D and D Beyond clickable. Really? Okay. So, I mean, I'm gonna be playing with that when this stream is done. I guarantee it. I'm gonna be <laughs> sitting there for probably several hours just playing around, making sure it works and everything, and then sending all that info to my players of, hey, guess what? <laughs> all right. So here we go. This. Here. Yep. Uh, this is this one. This is for Chrome. So that's the Chrome link, and the I'm other one. It, but Alex has already built it, so I was like, okay. Uh, there, you there you go. And there is this. And oh, speaking of which, uh, since you guys are building things, 
if you guys ever want to collaborate on projects with uh, myself, you know, Klein, Danell, you know, come up, you know, brainstorming shooting ideas, we're all about that because I, I can't necessarily speak for the others, but at the same time, I, I think I can. We love this, you know, the building in Tailspire. We love this community. It's awesome. And, you know, the more we can be a part of it and contribute to its growth, I think all I would have to say, I think all three of us are on board with that. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I got that nice tree in there, but uh, that is that is awesome. I'm definitely going to be playing with those links. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, little clay pot. If you're here, could you let Demon Gun know that that's the thing? Because he was oh, yeah. he was waiting for that. Oh. No, I think uh, well, little little clay pot is no longer in Tailspire. But hopefully, they're still in the chat. Yep, still in chat, at least their name's there. Uh, did you hear Klein? <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, I mean, I can, I, can message, I can message Demon Gun, too, about it. I'll, I'll send him those links. Uh, or you can, Klein, you know, or, you know we've got his contact. So. Just, uh, he was just expecting slash wanting those. Make sure he knows about that. Mm hmm Well, I'm glad I now know about it, because... Oh, wow, that's going to be so much, so much cool. Yeah, it was useful. That is going to be some coolness right there, I think. All right, it's amazing what people can do when they, you know, are passionate about something and want to, uh, to, to improve and make it the best thing that they can and the best tool that they can. <laughs> Right. Uh, so, did you uh, did you get any more questions there, Klein? Were you able to pull up the list and take a look at it? Yeah. So, uh, this is going back to the low detailed city. Uh, you kind of touched on this briefly, but what sort of inspired you, or what even made you notice that you could see tiles in a different way for the low detailed city? Because you kind of talked <laughs> about how you wanted to build the big city, but doing so in Tailspire would make it be you know, difficult to use, so you scale it down. What was really just sort of the inspiration to even see Tailspire in that sort of fashion? Well, I'm. I think I. You can start by looking at my Discord handle on the on the Tailspire Discord. Is that a master of, of clipping? <laughs> and, and obviously, I spend a lot of time trying to clip stuff together. Uh, to see what will be the, the outcome uh, so it's it's really like a, a trial and error process on that front just uh, always looking up for new new stuff that could be incorporated in, in interesting fashions uh, and and there's sometimes really a lot of, of fidgeting around like uh, if i put two table which table will be slightly on top of the other one so which texture will show up and stuff like that so i don't think that precisely just mash stuff together and see what works I, I just uh, launch lasagna at the wall and looks at the one. That's the <laughs> wall. I like that analogy. And, and, and the idea was that I uh, so I had to think about uh, a way to to make big cities in Tespire work, like without uh, hold the, the the issue of, of stuttering and, and lagging and everything. And I I think really early on some people published some like overall map but really way more abstract than whatever it was it was like the, the, the scale ratio is like way bigger so like uh, a full city was just like uh, on one square one by one and it was just like i don't know i think it was the the a torture device like the the bench torture device the pointy thing and mm -hmm. they said like it looked like a roof so it's a city it's, it's something like way abstracter so oh. I wanted something in between, of course, because I saw, it, I saw it was a bit too abstract for my taste. And I think it, it went in two parts, actually. So I'm, hmm, if I recall correctly, and and so I just started working on 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 the map. I had a map of city, and I was asking myself, so how can I scale it down? So okay, I take a road. It's like four meters, but if I do it two meters in Tespire. Uh, and I just like 
it, it went like that. Uh, but as I said, the, the first process, like the process of finding the style and how I wanted it to work and everything, it took me uh, really the first week of just trying stuff and looking at roofs. How can I, how can, how can I look at Paris very differently? And, and, and I think this is something that I wanted to push through the contest like force you to shift your perspective as I did through like during that process is that you really need, need to have a time I think the first few hours of your working of the content and I think talk to all my wizard if you look at it you can uh, tell me your experience afterwards but I think mm -hmm. that really like rewire your brain a little bit about Taspire and oh, realize yeah. that yeah that asset is not simply that asset and I wanted people to go through that because this is really what I try to go through each time I make a new building is that, okay, it's a wall, it's a plain basic wall, how can I use it to be a table? Mm -hmm. Like, how can I shift the vision I have of, of, of things and, and, and try to be fluid about my conception of everything? It, it sounds a bit like I'm high on, on fumes there, but it's really the idea is that okay i have a table make it, maybe i can make it a wall because the table has an interesting side textures it. and it's, it's finding a little piece of something that i like and trying to exploit that thing to the maximum okay hold on we were just saying that we were getting an echo uh off of a stallery um it might have been my my headphones there demon gun uh which he is in uh, the chat right now, so uh, if you didn't see the links, uh, I'll, I'll probably drop them again because they're badass. Uh, but um, I turned down my headphones a little bit more, so hopefully you're, they're not bleeding out and being picked up by the mic. So let me know if that fixed the echo there, Demon Gun. Uh, is Stallery just... Say something real quick uh, so we see if it's the echo. Oh, I, I have a question, actually. Oh, so okay. I, as I was asking, like Matt Wizard and, and Tog or Klein, if you if you try to use uh, the small detail city, what was your yeah. like mental thinking process while you were ah. discovering it, like from a fresh perspective? Uh, very uh, very good question. Actually, I when I was looking at it, I was thinking <clears throat> how when it comes to uh, playing like you know having miniatures in there I, it just it kind of blew my mind at first because i was like i never thought of creating something like this where i'm replicating what the map looks like you know what what like a city for example looks like and not considering you know having minis running around it and therefore the scale of it being able to shrink it to you and use that as like hey Here's the map of what the city looks like if you had a bird's eye view and going with that because I think that is kind of a game changer and I know it was a game changer in my mind thinking I don't have to use the pieces to make a building exactly the size for players to, and, and be concerned about that. I can use them in different ways to make something that you know looks like this or looks like this and represents that clearly without having to worry about oh okay well i need to make sure the players can get into everything because sometimes you don't care if they can get into things or what because they're probably not even gonna go that direction but ha making a map like that that to me that was kind of like a boom mind blown wow how do we you know how did i not see this before can i have a girl I think that's to me was was huge. I mean, looking at things when you look at like Waterdeep, and it's like, okay, well, mm -hmm. if we're going to build all of Waterdeep in Tailspire, it would be so huge, and yet mm -hmm. to do this version of it, and then just have certain zones that you could go to another board that would have the you know full size if you need it. Yep. Because there's so, so much travel you do around the town that you like you pass building and building and building, you're never going to go in. Well, why spend exactly. all that time and and, you know, realistically, someone's got to deal with the lag from all the assets and everything for a bit. Oh, yeah. to go in. <laughs> exactly. And that's what really, really got me. Yeah, and like in chat, Demon Gun saying the idea was so common sense and perfect, but the file set provided, you know, by you putting that together, uh, Istallery, it made it. He says immediately actionable, which I think is a good way, a good way to phrase it. It it provided a new way of looking at it, 
that I don't think the majority of us thought of or or looked at it in that realm kind of in and that's the creativity and you know that people are bringing to the community is everyone th looks at things in different ways and that's how you get all this different stuff and that one yeah, though it's it stands out because it was a shift i think a big shift I, in I I, I'm, I'm just lucky there because i, I as you say when you do it, it it feels like common sense in a way mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm quite sure that someone would have come up with, with the idea sooner or later so i'm mm. happy that I did before the others, but I, I'm, I'm already seeing people emulating what I've did, like on other scales of, of yep. new tires and everything. So uh, again, I think that I, even if I was the first, uh, you, you would have come up, and I'm sure that like plenty of people would just like come up with, with ID and would be flabbergasted to have not thought about that type of ID before. So it's really interesting in in the in the creation mind space there's like so many things to do and and mm -hmm. this is like something i'm um, i will cite minecraft again uh, that i really love is that each time there is a new update uh, that brings new blocks or new uh, assets or new stuff you can build and put in the world mm -hmm. i love going to the minecraft reddit and watch people um, use that asset in completely bizarre and in, in, in ways you would not have predicted but that works really well like, like uh, and they create amazing stuff. Uh, like just right now, I think the new assets, the new candles, you can have mm -hmm. small candles colored and people are making swords uh, out of that, swords uh, out of that. And I'm like blown away to have thought to make a swords out of candles and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I think it's the same process here in Talisbury stuff. Each time there is new way of building and new assets. Uh, you can really uh, reimagine every other asset with that one in in, in mm -hmm. a new expression and new way of creating absolutely I actually agree with that just because uh, even with the low detailed city uh some people were complaining oh we don't have that one by one road or things like that second the desert tiles came out there was a one by one uh sort of yeah uh, slab that fit almost perfectly for the, the dirt road it's not quite the same there's a, a little bit off but it's it kind of gets the point across and mm -hmm. uh, actually last night little clay plot was using it in his map he was building for the uh, updates draw map like that i was talking about mm -hmm. and and so i think I, something I, that we we need to keep in mind is that we're playing a mind game that has amazing visuals provided by Telespire, but in the end, mm. it's just a mind game. Like, if I build the most detailed and amazing castle, and the, the game master says it's not a castle, it's a hut, it's gonna be mm. a hut, you know, it's, it's just like set up, it's magic. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the goal is that we're still playing a game uh, where the visual are just a support of what we're doing, and mm -hmm. with the real important stuff is that if, if why is the game? What's happening in, in our mind? What was the collective experience we're sharing currently? Like, if I tell you it's not potatoes, but it's uh, tomatoes in that crate, it's not an issue. If, it, if mm -hmm. it's yellow tomatoes, like really, it's, it does not matter yep. to the game. And yeah. so even more for the, for the low detail city, if it's not like perfectly what you need, it's not important. Like you're looking at things at a bigger scale. And I got, after that, I got into an argument about people complaining about not having <laughs> the, the miniature that perfectly fits mm -hmm. what they want to look at. And I just said to someone, just use the donkey then. And, and then yeah. <laughs> and then oh, yeah. Just, you know, yeah. It's like one, one of the players in, in my game, he is a blind wizard who's familiar. He normally has take the shape of an owl. Well, there are no owls currently in Tailspire. So he gets the chicken mini for his uh, familiar. But... Uh, okay. Something I, something I wanted to point out as uh, as you were saying, like looking at things differently and building things new and, and kind of a, you know, bringing people together collaboratively. Uh, just this last Thursday in our build, uh, we had uh, someone, I cannot remember the exact name. It was, uh, a, I think it was Ace McCrack, Ace McCracken. That was it. Ace McCracken. Uh, came in and built with uh, Klein, Dan Danilo, and myself. And he brought in, if you actually go over to the west side of the map, like off off the uh, the actual fort, but to the west side. 
Yeah. Ace McCrank. Ace McCrank. That's what it was. Okay. But yep, right here. If you if you look at this, he brought in this section of it right here, uh, which is kind of a mine, to show us this mine shaft. And then all four of us, himself, Klein, Danelle, and I, just went nuts over modifying the hell out of this thing to come up with several different ways to do it and make it modular and make it work better. And you can see all the, the work here. And we've even, there's even the, uh, our ideas for little boiler tanks to make it a steam powered, uh, basically pulley system that cranks up a platform through. It's basically a mine elevator. Mm-hmm. And we, we, we spent, you know, a good 30 minutes, you know, maybe more, all of us just kind of geeking out on, on one thing and seeing how we could make different things into different things using that, hey, this doesn't, you know, this is this one piece, but how can we make it not be that one piece? How can we make, you know, how can we use these other th- tools to create something, you know, completely different? And that's what we came up with. This has become the prop lift in my theater. Oh, yeah, there you go. And, and the thing that's mind blowing is that looking at this, I, I'm like, so many ideas are coming up because I would never have thought of that arrangement of pieces together. Yeah. And like, uh, it, it's crazy sometimes how, how well it works too. It's like, you look at it and it just makes sense. And if at a glance you can understand what it is, it means that it's like just works. And it's, it's crazy, and it is what we're saying is that sometimes you just need to find the ideas, and it just makes sense. And uh, and and that's why I'm always looking to to new builds. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm checking a lot of builds by people, uh, and because there is always some stuff that I'm just like, I'm gonna steal. Damn. Oh so yeah. That's too good. Maybe oh yeah. Happen. Oh yeah. I, it, there's. I don't think anyone in the community has anything that they have created. That they're like, nope, nobody else can use it. It's mine. I mean, it, the the whole name of the game in the community yeah, is. All the time, all the time yeah, I've done that. Uh, well, trade, yeah. Trade well, you, you, just you though. <laughs> well, you're a jerk. Well, I don't like sharing. As you know, with my involvement in this collapse show, I'm actually taking credit for all of your work. Yes, I know. Thanks I know. For, thanks for uh, giving me all of your credit. Thank you. Yep. Well, you're, you're a jerk, I, and we know it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's it's totally been, you know, beg, borrow, steal, uh, you know, all the ideas because it just makes everyone better. And honestly, I want everyone to be as, you know, at their their peak building, building stuff, dropping it on Tails Tavern, uh, you know, to to make all these cool things that it's selfish reason. But I want to steal that stuff to use in my games. You know, I don't want to have to build all the maps myself that I want to use. So if people are making amazing, awesome maps and, and buildings and structures and, and, and everything and making these cool things, that just makes me happy. <laughs> so, you know, that's where I'm at with I'm it. I'm a programmer because I'm lazy. And so, you know, if all you want to do all the work and I'll just copy and paste, that works for me. I love that. I'm right there with you, sir. And... Yep. Well, I, I, um, I think I'm, I'm always really happy to show my my, my work. It's like uh, I've, I've pushed out now a, a lot of slabs. Like uh, I think I have, I don't know how many I have, but uh, I definitely have a lot of slab pushed. And if people want to use them, I, I'm always really happy. Obviously, I'm, I'm my pride uh, will lose me. But like if someone says, oh, um, we're going to mention your name, something like, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> push it but I, I'm, I'm generally and generally uh, happy for them to use it and what's give me the, the kicks really out of it is that seeing people play I think the, the best um, gift and it's probably the same when you your, your game mastering is that mm-hmm. uh, people playing what you've created and enjoying oh, yeah. and, and finding all the secrets like um, sometimes I watch or not been in a long time but i've watched some people play on a map of creative and, and being oh have you seen this detail and I'm like uh, finding all the stuff i've painstakingly like put piece by piece uh, uh, uh prop by prop at the time and took me hours and people will discover it in 10 minutes but it's not an issue it's just really happy to see them like oh wow you can do that and there is that hidden there and uh, 
and it's really just a, a pleasure to, to show these people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's that for me is is the thing is having you know my players enjoy playing something that I put together. You know, a hundred percent. So when you said that, I mean that definitely, yeah, I agree with that a hundred percent because you know er everything I'm putting together is it's all homebrew world. You know, so I'm you know getting inspiration from other things. You know, and all that. But you know, the story and everything that I'm putting together, it's my own, and they're a part of it. And well, I shouldn't even say it's my own. I mean, it's it's all it's mine and theirs. They're creating it. I'm just giving them a setting, to, you know, that I've put together to, to create the story. But watching their eyes light up when we've had a, a session at the end of it, and they're just like, oh, my God, that was so fun. That That's the feeling, and I can totally get that with when when you're on a map that someone created. And if they can see, oh, that person's using my map, and they're enjoying the hell out of it. That just makes you, it gives you that same feeling. And it's, yeah. it can't be beat, I don't think. I remember playing in a session um, and playing, you know, in Tailspire. And it was a simple fight. It's, you know, three of us against two elementals. But we're fighting, you know, my character's up on a bridge. And in my head, yes, if I play it in my mind, I can imagine, you know, the risk of him falling off and dying from, you know, getting blown off the bridge. But mm -hmm. just being able to see it, just oh, that yeah. extra suspense. It was it was one of those things that later on, if I thought about it, I'm like, okay, he wouldn't have died. He would have been bleeding out. But it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. have, but at the moment, it's like, oh my gosh, every roll is stressful and like, oh this yeah, could be the end. And it's like all I gotta do is fail one save, and there he goes. <laughs> you know? Yep. And I mean, luckily he was a barbarian, so he got advantage on his strength saves, but. It was stressful, but it was like an oh, yeah. amazing thing. Like we finished it, and it's like, my gosh, it was so cool. Why did Why didn't we record that? That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a moment too, where you go, oh, why mm. didn't we record that? Yeah, well, that actually, that's that's one reason why I started streaming, is because I thought, look, one, I'm having a blast, you know, playing games. I want to play, you know play games and, and create stories and have fun doing that. Two, I'd love to look back on it and remember some of the awesome sessions. And part of that is because I, you know, want to get better as a DM. I'm always trying to improve. And I figure if I can look back at the good sessions and see what I did there, look back at the bad ones and see what I did wrong and improve, you know, that's going to be great. And then three, I was like, if we're having so much fun sharing these stories, I know there's other people out there that would enjoy watching it. Maybe they could learn from it. I, you know, hell, I watch, you know, a whole bunch of different streams. I watch Critical Role, of course, kind of the gold standard there for <laughs> D&D uh, shows. But I watch them. I watch, you know, so many others. Uh, Paradise RPG, great group. I, I love watching their stuff. Know Your Role. There's so many out there. Um, and I learn from those. I enjoy the stories big time but i also learn from those and can improve you know myself from from watching those so i thought hey well you know i'm just gonna do it and it's that you know that love of that that brings this kind of thing around where you can you can share the creations that you make with other people and now also i've got them recorded for myself so <laughs> but all right i need an opinion Oh, say, go ahead. No, I, I haven't done uh, full recordings except for a couple little ones, but mm -hmm. we do a lot of screenshots. And, you know, in Tailspire, you know, as the story does, you can take some amazing screenshots of these oh, yeah. events. It's just, you know, it's obviously not as full, you know, encompassing to watch the video and get you more, but the screenshots themselves are great because you can just go back and sort of relive it. Oh, yeah. You know. All right. I need an opinion here it's bad i've, I've not seen it but it's bad <laughs> uh I, fi I figured because i'm, I'm right, just is this your first time in the is this your first time building with us because uh that's that's the answer we would that, that, do. That, that's kind of how I, I, say, I he fits right in here yeah <laughs> that, 
That, that's hey, usually what I go with is bad, but you know. <laughs> in my group, I am the smartest. I'm, I'm the one making uh, bad, like really bad puns and, and um, jokes <laughs> all the time. You definitely fit in then. <laughs> can we can we keep him? Oh. <laughs> I, I I live essentially on 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 tea and and whiskey, so I, I'm oh. pretty. I'm not that expensive. Depends oh, well, on the whiskey. oh, okay. On well, <laughs> well how, how, how about like a, uh, a, a nice aged uh, single malt? Uh, yeah, it can be good. I, I'm, I'm quite more partial to Islay and, and smoky stuff. Like if you okay. have a smoky tea or a smoky oh. um, whiskey is good. Mescal, mescal uh, I really enjoy it too. It's, it's smoky, so yeah, I'm good. All right. So um, the same pit you're doing, right? Yeah, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at basically the changing up the bottom to be from away from the like the rural, uh, you know, tilled earth to more of a sandy bottom uh, with rocks and maybe some plants and stuff in it uh, so that it, it. Something that works really well is that uh, you do half an increment to the. To, the, um, to give it different levels. Yeah, exactly. So it works really well. And uh, also something that I really like with, uh, well, two things, actually. Something that I really like and something that I don't like about the sand is that the sand path, mm -hmm. uh, they look all the same. Like, yeah, quite far, uh, they're a bit samey, but mm -hmm. they're really, really great to do rocks, actually, at the bottom of the floor. And uh, a good piece is the, the corner one. Yeah, the corner mm -hmm. one. Because it's oh, not yeah. too much, it's not too noisy, and so if you put it in an interesting uh, fashion, like that, like that, oh, you okay. have, like a nice flowing of uh, sand, and like that, you have like already something that's a bit more interesting. Very nice, too. yeah. So that's the way. My, my, uh, I like that. Rope. I like that. Very cool. And that's this is one other thing I kind of like to do is, uh, and it's based off what I saw uh, from it was actually in a demon gun build that uh, that I first saw it, but I don't know if he came up with it or if he stole it from you or whatever. But using the you know the the nice tree like this, the tree, this I think I this tree is. I'm not and using it like like it's a moss or a bush growing, uh, you know, or some kind of mold or whatever growing on uh, rocks and stuff like that. I think I was the first. I cannot um, be sure about it, but uh, um, it looks like it. Um, it's just that the, the the bush moss is really I don't like it. Or it depends. Mm. I don't like it in that context. Yeah. Uh, I think it can work in other type of, of contest, but. Uh, not contest the context. Yeah. Uh, oh no, we got I it. It's <laughs> really nice. Uh, it has mm -hmm. like the right texture, the, the right amount of, of noise again. Like uh, you can really, uh, it works well. Yeah, basically. All right. Do we have any more questions there, Klein? Uh, one more question uh, that I've sort of pre prepared. Uh, do you know how many low detailed city maps you have so far? And was it more than expected? It less than expected? Uh, right on course? Mm -hmm. Well, I think Matt Wizard uh, is going to answer that because I have no idea. I'm going to go look right now. If you just hold on a second, I will find it. Nah, there we won't do that. Yeah, we don't have a ton. Um, I know there's some still in process. Still have about uh, 35, 36 hours, so. Yeah. Uh, hope I went to the wrong yeah. Being the, the, the Tellspire on uh, Discord, actually, to remind people about it. Just say, hey, y'all, yeah, guys. Yeah, because we've only got, right now, we've only got seven so far. I think there's more. But and there's probably one on, on there's Tavern, too. There's, there's got to be more than seven submissions, right? Yeah, I gotta look and see. Like there's seven here. I'm trying to find if I can find them on the 
Because, I mean, if, if there's only seven, then I like my odds of getting in top ten. You like your odds. You like your yeah. odds. Yeah. And I know, like, I, and I'm going to do a little cleanup, too, because I know I saw, um, and I haven't done it today, there was a couple of the people that uploaded that they mm. did not tag it properly. I don't know if they, it auto tagged on the, on the submission form, but I think they went and changed it or something. Mm. And so I might not they, have tagged mine. I don't know. <laughs> I might not have tagged it right. I th think I did, but I might not have. Yeah, I, I, I see your uh, little island. Yep. Yep. All right. So, but either way, there's, 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 you know, not a ton of them. Uh, hmm. So if, if people are thinking about doing it, I mean, they've got a good shot at it. So yeah. You know. And like I said, well, yep. well, I know there's a couple more that are in process that just aren't done yeah. yet. So they are not. Yeah. Yeah. Demon, Demon Gun. Uh, actually, he's in the chat right now. He, he said he already submitted one, uh, and then he's been working kind of on an updated version, making little changes here and there. Uh, so I don't know. Have you submitted the updated version yet, or are you kind of pushing it to the wire to try to tweak it here and there a little bit more? I don't know. <laughs> I think I saw both of his in here. Both of his. He calls me yep. a cheater. No, he's got entry yep. number two, so he's got yeah. a mark, so I know which one to go with. Yeah, the latest, uh, and that that was in the instructions too. Is like whichever one is the latest is uh, the one that you're going to use unless you like mark it and say please don't use this one or something like that don't use this please <laughs> yeah but i mean it's not even either way we're going to go through a world we'll know i mean it's not like we're dealing with thousands of trans you know submissions that we wouldn't catch that you know if someone were to send up to or whatever mm -hmm. so it'll be fun to poke through them and see what people have done and I still just love the concept honestly oh definitely now, I have a... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted you to go... There we go. I have a question concerning the low-detailed city build. And that is the... Um, the rules for the build. For anyone who has not uh, seen it, if you guys want to just kind of, you know, run over the, the rules real quick and uh, and that way... You know, kind of explain so that way people can say, oh, okay, I understand. And make sure they know, you know, if they decide to go into the build, what's expected of them, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there, um, I mean, it, go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I was just making a noise because the, the cat wanted to go in. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm... Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, on my end, so the, the building part, so you need to build a slab. So it means that the, the thing you're building needs to be able to be shared on the slab sides, the tail tavern. Uh, and uh, you need to build it by using the, the, the low detail city uh, materials or a slab uh, that provides you with the piece to build the city with. Uh, you can obviously make uh, minute uh, modifications. It's just that, like, if, if you need to, to stitch some building or stuff like that, you, you're able to do it. You, you're able to do a small creation too, like if you really need something to be distinct. But the goal is that you need to respect the aesthetic of the low detail city. Obviously, you, you, you need to, to to stick to the to the visual uh, idea, and you cannot like outrightly change everything because ev everyone needs to build using the same uh, bricks, uh, using the same materials, or otherwise it's not fair. And apart from that, I think we're, we're pretty um, we're pretty open to, to to what people are gonna do, I think, I hope. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the key is also, um, we put in the list to you know upload a screenshot, um, but you can upload multiple, uh, just to make it, give us another visual. And if you can, also put up a description just if there's any background or any information that might help, you know, when we're, when we're reviewing the slab rather than us just having to just take it by itself. Um, so it'll, it's already interesting. I mean, they're already looking just at the, the handful of there that are, uh, it's sort of fun to, to look at them and see what people have done with it. You know, it's not just, oh, I just took the city and I moved a couple buildings around, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like tooting my own horn here, but I like my little island. I think it's fun. <laughs> and I think I think it was Demon Gun that uh, mentioned it, or someone else, maybe Little Clay Pot, uh, when I uh, posted pics of it in uh, on my Discord. They're like, 
Hmm, that kind of looks like uh, something else. What was? I think it was a uh, from Pokemon, uh, a map from Pokemon or something like that. Uh, let's see, where is it? Collab build. Uh, Which is probably the, the link to past Zelda. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it yeah, looks like. Better. So definitely a win there. Yep. I was like, I did, and I didn't even think about that. I was like, hey, all right. <laughs> So, Someone doing this actually has, you know, video game experience? No. Yeah, <laughs> I'll link to the past. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, interesting. I didn't. I honestly didn't think of that. It's been so long since I played that game. So, Pokemon. Hey, come on. Give me a break. You know how long it's been since I played any uh, any Zelda games? Long time. Long time. No, it's been a long time since I played any. Uh, it's, it's not been that long for me, not because I actually played it, because one of my sons was playing it, and so he had me help him with something. Ah. Which was funny, because I hadn't played that, that game, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I will figure it out. Yeah. yeah no, I've actually been uh, been playing some... It's a, a Mech Warrior game. It's not new. Uh, at least to me, or not new, but it's new to me, and I got it uh, just the other day, and yeah, I I was up a little bit late last night playing that. <laughs> so that that's the the most recent game I've been playing, not counting uh, Building and Tailspire. Yeah, I but, think yeah. everyone is, is waiting for um, City Project to the uh, Cyberpunk anyway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, mine's ordered. Uh, I am. I have actually ordered the, the collector edition. I have oh, nice! The art, the art book, like uh, the, the Living in Night City. The, it's a really, really? Nice book. Um, yeah, it's it's really awesome. Uh, and so yeah, I've been like everyone waiting for seven years. <laughs> mm -hmm. actually. Yes. But it's been. A, I think it's part of the of the journey, definitely. Uh, Can we there? Oh yeah. It's gonna be really nice, and. Recently, I've finished uh, the story. I've not done the. the I think I've, I've done two side missions, but I've finished uh, the main story of, of uh, Watch Dogs. I took oh, okay. the Ubisoft subscription and just mm -hmm. uh, during the, the weekend, I had a, a big weekend, I, I did the, the main story, which was nice. But yeah, I do play a lot. Actually, I think uh, every time I'm not on Tazbear, I'm probably uh, playing a video game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, un I think we're un right there with you. Yeah, and when it, whenever I can, if I can get some game time in. Uh, so uh, you hear that chat? Yeah, you, you, you need to hook up, uh, hook me up with uh, my dream. Help my channel become super super popular, so I could do uh, this full time. Because then I'll be able to give you more content, and I'll have more time for video games. Uh, you know, so you'd be doing me a big solid. <laughs> So, so you know, help help a brother out here, guys. Come on. <laughs> and then that, and at the same time, is sorry since he spent so much time on video games and he's so good at this. I mean, there has to be some sort of correlation, right? Yeah, exactly. I think video games uh, definitely help me on my uh, special awareness, and mm -hmm. it's something that you see like um, someone that is not accustomed to playing video games. You drop them like in Skyrim or in Breath of the Wild, and it. it it is big open space or dungeons that can be really repetitive uh, visually or with, without many like big clues and those type of people can get lost really quickly whereas I know that if I'm going uh, onto the Skyrim dungeon if I did not knew it already by her but like let's imagine that I haven't played Skyrim for 2000 hours <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> she said, uh, wow. discover, a new, uh, discover a new dungeon and and I think it's just from the entrance to the end, I can just like map out the full uh, volume of the dungeon and I know where oh, I go. Yeah. And I think this is a skill that you acquire as a gamer uh, quite early on, the, the like 3D visualization of a space that you only see in 2D actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's part of the learning process definitely, I think. Well, I think also playing, playing games like that with uh, playing like 3D games with amazing graphics where the designers have you know a huge budget and and time and you know their whole thing is they're trying to get get you to buy that game because the graphics and the graphics engine and everything is so good 
you get to see these amazing designs and maps and things like that. And that can help to inform you of ideas in creating your own 3D maps with the tools that are available in Tailspire uh, or other, you know, 3D, you know, like map programs or stuff. But it, it, I think that gives you an idea of what looks nice together because you can see, oh, look, you know, there's look what they did with this map. It looks so realistic. It and because you can actually get up close to it and see it. And at the same time, you can see it from, you know, so many different angles and distances that you don't necessarily get in the real world when like if you even if you went out into uh you know nature into a similar area you're not necessarily going to be able to in the span of five minutes see this you know overhead view of everything from like a you know like if a bird's eye view and then be able to be right down in it and on top of it you know there's no way you're going to be able to do that necessarily so you get a different perspective and you get it in a short amount of time and you get to see it over and over again if you're going through the same areas. So it kind of ingrains those vi those pictures in your brain. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a lot of... It's like referencing in the real world and all the times like mm -hmm. everything is, is good for you to, to take inspiration upon. I think uh, it's like anything can, can be inspiring if, if you look at it with the right angle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be plain ugly, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, if, if, well, that could be a good thing if, too, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you could take you can take the a, ugly. A purpose, like uh, maybe it's ugly by design, and then you have something to learn about it. Uh, and it's like the thing I may look at the most is probably level design because I think level design is really the art of guiding a player throughout the motion of the game without you real realizing it. Mm. So. Uh, it's it's really important part of, of making something looks nice uh, and feels nice to play uh, actually I, I wanted to to study uh, game design uh, for a time I, um, mm -hmm. I when I was uh, during uh, my higher studies of business uh, I wanted to look much more in game design but then I end up a uh, salesman <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well, we uh, we all try to, you know, do our best with the hand we're dealt, and sometimes you you end up not getting to follow your exact dream right away. But I I think if you if you keep trying, you keep working, eventually you get to where you want to be. Uh, if you stick to it, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, and I have to say, I'm 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 not complaining. Like I'm I'm very fortunate oh, yeah. in my in my personal life, and these are like success or my personal life so i'm just really happy overall and, and i wish the same to everyone really. mm -hmm. for me it has been so far uh, a successful win um, this has been work obviously like, I think, oh yeah uh, it's the same for everyone but I, I was lucky to to be able to do that uh, and succeed well, good very good all right uh, do we have any more questions there, Klein, or is that kind of round out the list? Uh, my, my, last, uh, my last question isn't really for our two guests, it's more for chat. Do you guys uh. have any questions for our two guests here that you would like answered? Sort of throw it to the people in the chat watching on stream, seeing if anything mm -hmm. they want to ask about uh, Low Detailed City or... About or anything. questions in general. Like, uh, Tales Tavern. Yeah, just questions in general. Uh, so far we'll have to wait because there is a slight delay. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see here if we get any anybody interested in asking a question. Don't be shy. No, I th don't think we're getting any at this point in time. Uh, but that that's uh, all right. That's no problem. I will say, that's is all it? The questions I really had. Okay, go for it. That's all the questions I really. Had. Oh, that's all the questions you really had. Well, in that case, what 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw it to uh, to both of you, Mad Wizard and Astalri. I'll say, uh, go ahead. We'll start with, uh, we'll go reverse order this time. We'll go with Mad Wizard. Uh, go ahead and if you want, you know, just shout out any of your, uh, you know, you know, Tales Tavern itself, you know, things like that. You know, give us a, a little bit of a shout out on that. And uh, if there's anything else you want to say about uh, the stuff you're working on that maybe we didn't get a question around to that you can think of, go ahead and do that. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot. You know, I'm just glad to be here. Uh, obviously, Tales Tavern is sort of the, you know, side project of my life. I always have a lot of them going on in my world. I have too many things that I commit myself to. But uh, you know, anything I can do to help this community. Uh, but anyone, if they have any ideas, if they use it or have things that they think would improve it or make it more useful, especially, you know, obviously... To make Tailspire hit as we get to early access, uh, certainly feel free to reach out. Um, I'm in the uh, Tailspire Discord. I've also got one for Tails Tavern, though it's not as busy. And uh, but just just glad to be here. I've got a couple things I, I won't even bother going into them because I don't even know if I'm going to happen. They're going to happen yet. But uh, and then I also play. If anyone ever is interested in playing in Tailspire, I play in a uh, server called Age of Avalon. That is a West Marches style uh, D&D game. I'd never done West Marches before, but uh, I love it and I love the people there. Um, but it's just a fun place, all free, and just come and play. That's all I got. All right. And then it's all received to you. Anything you want to go over? Well, I've, if, if you yeah, want, well, I have a, a Patreon. Uh, that you can uh, like uh, go on and support me in my building. It's really appreciated. Uh, mm -hmm. It allows me to to like put more time into set fire um, with with a lighter uh, <clears throat> hurt to it. Like uh, it's really uh, giving time. And also, I'm, I'm looking into. I've purchased a webcam and a few stuff uh, thanks to the, the patrons. Uh, I'm looking into making a new trailer for a new map. With the voiceover, so I'm, I'm paying the guy doing the voiceover with the Patreon too. So, uh, support of the Patreon is really <clears throat> for me not something to make money of, but really something to to build and to, like to grow uh, bigger in what I'm able to do. So, uh, support there is very appreciated. And and apart from that, I'm, I have a YouTube channel where I try to publish nice story of of, uh, of my creations and pushing tutorials for you to to build better. On Telspire. So uh, really, if if uh, you you want to learn how to build on Telspire, that's uh, I think that's a, a good channel. Hopefully, and people like it. Uh, but apart from that, I don't have uh, that much else to say. I'm I'm really happy to be there. It was fun. I've almost finished my house, so I'm uh, happy with that. I just have one room to to make, <clears throat> and it'd be good. And uh, yeah, I'm just babbling now. So <laughs> I think I will should open the uh, light. Uh, Talk, take back control of the stream. All right, hold on. I'm just looking. Uh, right here. I'm trying to copy this. There we go. And that's okay. So I put in uh, Installeries Patreon and also put Tails Tavern in there. For you guys uh, links for those uh, but there you go guys that's uh, I think it's been two hours now that we've been going um, and I think that's gonna probably do it for the stream so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and s over hop over to Valdrian's channel here real quick uh, so that uh, we should be able to, I think she is still going. Yep, so we are going to raid Valdrianth's channel. If I can type today. Show them some support. Remember, we're doing the Extra Life campaign uh, for the Extra Life charity. We're trying to raise money for that, so we want to make sure that, uh, you know, kids in children's hospitals can get the... Uh, the help they need to get better so this is extra life weekend so go support you can either follow the link uh in my chat to go to the extra life uh the team page for t team raptor pack which i'm on with valdrianth 
and donate directly there. Uh, or you can, if you don't have uh, any money to donate, but you still haven't used your Twitch Prime subscription, if you subscribe to my channel with your Twitch Prime subscription, that's free to you if you don't have the money to donate. But every sub point I get, I'm going to end up donating $1 to the Extra Life charity. So if you if I end up with 100 sub points at the uh, end of the Extra Life weekend, that's 100 bucks more going to the Extra Life charity. So that uh, that way you're contributing even if you don't have money to contribute. So uh, feel free to do that as well. But we're going to go ahead and raid Valdrianth so that uh, we can show some support for the Extra Life weekend and the games that are going on there. I don't think any of them are uh, going to have Tailspire on them. Uh, I would have loved to have done mine in Tailspire, but the players I have for the one shot I'm running, which is going to be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on her channel, uh, they don't have Tailspire, otherwise I would do that there. And it's all being run through uh, Val's channel anyway, so... But uh, let's go give them support. Uh, before we go, uh, just uh, want to say thank you so much to our special guests, uh, Istalri and Mad Wizard, for joining us. I had a blast talking to you guys and, uh, and learning from you guys and building with you guys. And don't forget to join their uh, Low Detail City contest. You still got about like 36 hours left. All right, so yeah, thank you guys. I'm really happy to, <clears throat> to see your participation. All right, thank awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, and Danelle, go ahead. You know what time it is. I do indeed. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Buck, buck. All right, there we go. <laughs> What's up? That, that's, his, that's his special sign-off. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to raid Val's channel now. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like what we do here, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Later everyone!